superhero landing. She gonna do a superhero landing. Wait for it. Woo! Superhero landing. Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Deadpool burns. Who are you? I'm Batman. Korg, who was not my first choice, but apparently everyone else was too busy over on Disney Plus. I'm about to do to you what Limp Bizkit did to music in the late 90s. For this list, we'll be looking at the funniest and most savage insults the mark where the mouth has slung in live action sequences. What's your favorite Deadpool quote? Sound off in the comments. Number 10. Lazy Writing Deadpool 2 I use a device to slide through time. The longer I travel, the harder it is to control. I got two charges, one to get me here, one to get me home. When you have a character with the ability to not only break, but obliterate the fourth wall, not even the screenwriters are safe from condemnation. Upon teaming up with Cable in the face of a greater, nascent threat, Deadpool and the gang learn the tragic truths of the cybernetic time traveler's past. Or is it his future? If you travel to the past, that past becomes your future, and your former present becomes the past. Ah, thanks, Professor. Anyway, Cable explains that he only had two charges, one to get him where he is, and one to get him back to his time, effectively stopping him from being omnipotent. Realizing how convenient that is, Deadpool takes issue with his own writers. Well, that's just lazy writing. We're scared. Can Deadpool see us too? Number 9. A Name Like Francis – Deadpool How tough can he be? It's a name like Francis. Deadpool sure gets a lot of comedic mileage out of Ajax's real name in the first film, as he's sure to mention it every time he's around, and almost every time he's not. I'm looking for Francis! Have you seen this man? <laughs> it just speaks to Wade's fortitude that he's able to withstand endless amounts of torture and still retain his sense of humor, cutting down his oppressor at every turn. When Francis tries to intimidate Wade and his fellow test subject, Wade makes sure to poke fun at both the villain's real and made-up name in one fell swoop. That's his legal name. He, he got Ajax from a dish soap. Is Wade punching a little below the belt? Maybe, but Captain Dish Soap definitely has it coming. Not even his appearance is safe from criticism. Thank you. You have something in your teeth. Right in the middle there, just, I don't... A little nugget of uh, romaine lettuce or something. It's been bothering me for a long time. Number 8. Teenage Girl Impersonation – Deadpool Negasonic Teenage Warhead Negasonic Teenage... What the shit?! That's the coolest name ever! As much as Deadpool appreciates the coolness of Negasonic Teenage Warhead's name, he's never beyond burning someone who's apathetic to his very presence. Should've brought my rollerblades to show these kids how it's done. Oh. And that's why we do it. Prior to his transformation, Wade was admittedly a few years removed from the younger generation. But as Deadpool, he is more plugged in than ever. As Colossus's effort to recruit Deadpool into the X-Men drone on, NTW is understandably not feeling it, and so Deadpool rips her a new one, shattering her worldview with a simple yet spot-on portrayal. Can we go? Look! I'm a teenage girl. I'd rather be anywhere than here. I'm all about long, sullen silences, followed by mean comments, followed by more silences. At least she acknowledged her behavior, but will think twice about going on the Roast Me Reddit page if Deadpool has an account. So what's it gonna be, huh? Long, sullen silence or mean comment? Go on. You got me in a box here. Ah Number seven, Super Suit Request. Deadpool. The live-action Green Lantern movie starring Ryan Reynolds was certainly a letdown, but we're kinda glad it exists now that Deadpool has hilariously roasted it so many times. You're welcome, Canada. Before he's set to be experimented on by Ajax and company in the hopes of awakening latent mutant genes, Wade has only one request. And please don't make the super suit green. Or animated. 
We don't know if the Green Lantern movie exists in Wade's reality, but he certainly has great taste, because the green animated super suit in that one didn't even look good when it came out. Wow. I know, right? Thank goodness Deadpool got the look he deserved, and not whatever the heck this was. Wait, is that you? Number 6. DC Universe – Deadpool 2 Though it's become less true in recent years, the early installments of the DC Extended Universe were notable in their darker approach, counter to what's generally been done on the Marvel side of things. Tell me. Deadpool, ever the self-aware character with knowledge of the MCU, DCEU, and XU, or whichever he comes from, is always ready to poke fun at the superhero genre. Though many of the characters in the Deadpool movies are rather humorous, Cable is decidedly serious, staunchly resolute in his righteous mission. During their fight, Cable takes offense at Deadpool's mentioning of dubstep, prompting this glorious clapback. Dubstep's all pussies. You're so dark! Do you sure you're not from the DC Universe? You know, Cable would actually fit right in with Ben Affleck's Batman and company. Who are you? I'm Batman. Number 5. T-Rex – Deadpool you know, as much as Deadpool loves to throw shade at others, he's not beyond making fun of his efforts when the time comes. As Colossus inadvertently distracts Deadpool and allows Francis to escape, Deadpool is none too happy and decides to take it out on the Metal Goliath. Only it doesn't go so well. That does it! Oh! Oh! oh. Canada! That's not good. He promptly breaks both his hands, causing them to go limp and dangle. It's here that he's able to find humor in his misfortune. All the dinosaurs feared the T-Rex. As poorly as this goes for him, you gotta give him credit. You just can't keep a good Deadpool down. Do you have off switch? Yeah, it's right next to the prostate. Or is that the on switch? The <laughs> Number four, City of Detroit. Deadpool. Welcome to Sister Margaret's. It's like a job fair for mercenaries. We feel for you, Detroit. There have been one too many movies taking pot shots at your expense. That said, we can't help but chuckle all the same when it's coming out of Wade Wilson's mouth. Weasel's Bar is crawling with scum and villainy, and one of their pastimes involves betting on who's going to bite it. Hence, the Deadpool. You got me. I pick Booth in the Deadpool. Who'd you pick? You know, wait about that. Um, no. You did not bet on me to die. You'd think Weasel would have a vote of confidence in his friend Wade, but he too has banked on his demise. Wade, ever the cocky sportsman, claps back and brings the aforementioned city into the crossfire. Well, joke's on you. I'm living to 102 and then dying, like the city of Detroit. Number three, studio can't afford X-Men, Deadpool. Wait, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Deadpool, and I got an offer that you can't refuse. The first Deadpool was the little, sour-mouthed superhero movie that could, grossing over $780 million on a $58 million budget. It was the highest grossing R-rated movie ever until its own sequel. But apparently, the studio wasn't anticipating such success because their budget only allowed for appearances of two X-Men. Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. <laughs> ah, fake laugh, hiding real pain. Deadpool is more than aware of this, giving a cheeky aside upon his return to the X Mansion. It's a big house. It's funny that I only ever see two of you. It's almost like the studio couldn't afford another X Man. This joke would only get funnier in the sequel as virtually the entire cast of Dark Phoenix makes a cameo appearance with Wade oblivious. The first movie made more money than the guy who invented pants. Okay, they can't just dust off one of the famous X-Men. How about that putz with the giant pigeon wings? What do those do anyway, huh? Carry him three feet off the ground to snatch up the nearest muffin crumb? Number two, brown pants, Deadpool. Anyway, I got places to be, a face to fix, and oh, bad guys to kill. You know, Deadpool probably doesn't need to intimidate a horde of faceless goons prior to slaughtering them, but we appreciate it all the same. 
After getting into a hilarious and deadly car wreck, Deadpool crawls out of the wreckage surrounded by gunmen. He feigns surrender, but really, he's just amusing himself, as his breakdown of proper battle attire leaves us in stitches. You may be wondering why the red suit. Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. We're pretty sure color-appropriate pants wouldn't mask the smell, but the quip slays all the same. And for the record, we will always be happy to count him down with you, Deadpool. Let's count him down. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Panel Van, Deadpool. Wade didn't know it yet, but this recruiter had it coming. Mr. Wilson, how can I help you besides luring children into a panel van? Spider Monkey, Deadpool. Maybe this will help clear up Deadpool's internal conflict. Where's no, please. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Yeah! Oh, little spider monkey. McAvoy or Stewart, Deadpool. The X timeline really is confusing. Let us go talk to the professor. McAvoy or Stewart. These timelines are so confusing. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Zip It – Deadpool 2 You know, as straight-laced as Cable is in this movie, Deadpool definitely gets his best comedic material off of him. Give me some. They say laughter heals anything. Except, of course, that. Just a few weeks prior to the release of Deadpool 2, cable actor Josh Brolin made a big splash in the MCU as the mad titan Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. Now it's here. Or should I say, I am. Deadpool, never one to miss a window to comment, addresses the similarities in casting in a tense yet hilarious way. Zip it, Thanos, we have a deal. Kudos to Deadpool for being able to see through the CGI on the big purple guy to make the connection. Oh, and now that the X-Men characters are owned by Disney, maybe we can see Deadpool introducing the two Brolins to each other. Or maybe that's only in our dreams. Any tips on uh, getting into the MCU there, Korg? Uh, have a dream, uh, chase it, lose that dream, just sabotage all sorts of happiness in pursuit of that dream, climb up to the peaks of that mountain, and when you get to the top, land at the bottom and realize you're never going to achieve that dream, and at that point, check your emails. Maybe you'll get something from your agent saying, Marvel wants to talk. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.